Well, make yourself to be sincere. If you don't feel that you are sincere, force yourself to be sincere. If you want to free yourself from ignorance, then you have to learn. You have to be with knowledgeable people. You have to want to learn, not just to sit like a doofy, like a, a robot. You have to want to learn. You must ask, you must inquire, you must look, you must look at yourself. That time when you sit with the one who has knowledge, that one when you sit with an awliya, that time when you sit with a shaykh, that time when you sit with the ahli zikr, you're going to gain something. If you're just being uh, a robot, if you're not interested in learning, you can sit in front of the Prophet wasalam, you're not going to gain nothing. So how are you going to free yourself from ignorance? Sit with them, learn, and find out how you are ignorant. And when you discover how you are ignorant, and don't worry, every Sohbat Shaf is revealing our own ignorance and our own stubbornness and our own ego. When you find that, then don't be stubborn. Take that and put it in your life. Not just be there listening to the Sohbat, but take the sohbat when you are in need of the sohbat. The sohbat is ammunition to fight against the shaitan, to fight against our ego. So that time, when you find your ego and shaitan attacking you, that's the time to use the sohbat. Not to say you listen to the sohbat, when the time comes for you to fight against your ego, you don't know what to do. Yeah, maybe in the beginning. But it cannot be the same year after year after year. You see, I'm weak in this. You have to be strong in this other part. You're going to say, I cannot do this, I cannot do this too much. Then you're going to find what is it that you can do and you're going to concentrate on that. Not to say, I cannot do this too much, so I give up. What am I anyway? I'm zero, I'm nothing. So now you're taking those words of the earlier and you're twisting it just to fit to your ego then. How to fight against ignorance? You're going to be those ones who have knowledge. We are holding on to our share. I'm holding on to him. And he's teaching us about ourselves. And he's teaching us of our Lord and the Prophet and the Awliyaullah. And with that teaching, it is making this world to be very bright, to have taste, to have our faith, and to know that our faith means something. It is not a culture. It is not a culture. Our faith is not an ethnicity. Our faith is not a costume. Our faith is something that is inside that gives us life. That we can have everything. We can have the costume. We can have the prayers. But if we don't have faith, it means nothing. Inshallah, may we keep our faith strong. May Allah forgive us. May He bless everyone, inshallah. Al-Fatiha.